All right, I'm Rick Telefero, Mr. Telefero TV. For those who don't remember, I did a story one time about BTY. Well, it was, I just posted a video and had some fun with it, all right? An artist by the name of BTY Young and supposedly signed to Birdman's Cash Money. We never know who's really signed to Birdman's Cash Money. But Birdman has stepped a youngin', all right? He, he, he claimed him as an artist. Again, musically, I never heard anything from the guy. Um, but I did post a video one time of, of the guy going into the car dealership and he literally had cash on him and he, he just bought a car cash. He gave all the money to the car salesman and just walked off the lot with a car cash. It was a foreign whip and it looked like brother was getting some bread. And I think I said something along the lines of, dang, he flexing with the money that Birdman should be paying Lil Wayne. All right. We have fun with that. All right. This is not the day to have fun with this story. Um, early this morning, BTY Youngin was killed. Right, a New Orleans up and coming rapper. He was killed in the area that Lil Wayne knows a lot about. I mentioned Lil Wayne. He was shot at a gas station in Holly Grove. All right, shot dead, several shots. I heard it was a, a very nasty crime scene because whoever it was, apparently they just didn't stop shooting. They let off rounds. They wanted to make sure he was dead. Whoever he got into it with or whatever happened, they wanted him dead. All right, BTY Youngin was from New Orleans. All right. A lot of people call him an up and rising artist. I don't know. In this era, I see a lot of artists flexing with jewelry and cars and clothes and all that. But I really don't hear a lot of music from these artists. All right. So he was one of the guys that fit in that category. All right. He had been in and out of, of, of jail. He had a second degree murder charge at some point in his life. I mean, he had a lot of drug charges. Homie was troubled. Right. But that's the new norm for a rapper right now. Trouble passed. Finds a way to get out. Around 27, 28 years old, they figure this thing out, and, and, and they rap about a life that they don't live anymore. Here's where it gets iffy, right, for Desmond Jerome, which is his real name. A lot of rappers are flexing and flossing, but still in the hood. So now you flexing on your own people. Now you buying cars, and your people want to eat. Now, I don't know what the situation was with him. I don't know what led him up to getting shot, or if, if there was anything at all. It could have been just hatred. That's real. But at some point down the line, there was somebody hating on this brother. And again, I don't go as far as to say, look, somebody did this out of spite or he had something to do with that. We don't know. All right. I will say, obviously, you say rest in peace and prayers to the family. But you don't know if this homie did something to somebody or, if you know, if it was a, just an act of senseless killing because somebody was hating on the dude you don't know in this era and that sucks but what i will say is i advise you rappers you up and coming rappers who getting a little bread stop flexing like i get it that's part of the rap persona but take some of that money get out of the hood and don't come back unless you're doing something to help the hood this just don't be hanging around at gas stations or in the hood you're not winning you're not helping your people like that that ain't a win that ain't a dub that ain't, that's not a dub all right that's how artists end up dead and boosie said it better than anybody and the irony he, he's from louisiana he's from baton rouge boosie said it like this the hatred don't come when you on the road most of these rappers they go into other niggas hood show love do verses do videos it's all good the hatred is where you from your city your state that's where the hatred, that's where they, what Kodak Black say, they don't want to see you winning. That's where they, they want to see you dead or in the penitentiary. You know, we can talk about Kodak all we want, but the brother ain't lying in the verses, all right? And it looks like for BTY Youngin, um, his fate has been sealed because he was in the wrong place, wrong time. New Orleans is, is, is reckless, man. Put New Orleans on their list, top five, top five places that you don't need to be just chilling and hanging around if you're an artist. It sucks. Cause it looked like the brother had a, a promising future um but you're doing interviews and you're talking about this and you're talking about that you got chains and you sleep you easily caught slipping all right alfred telefer man telefer to be prayers to the brother i ain't got a bird man joke on me right now because the brother is dead um this was his artist bird man did come out and say rest in peace and he doesn't do a lot of posting so i mean he did acknowledge that much very unfortunate situation. We just can't get along because everybody want to flex on each other. Stop flexing so damn much. Alfred Telefair, Mr. Telefair TV. Thank you for the time and support. I don't take it for granted. Salute. By the way, follow me on Twitter, Instagram, Facebook, at Mr. Telefair. 
and always check out my site is mrt.com for more quality content like this i'm out if you're looking to book me for an interview video or by phone if you're looking to have your music or your skill featured on my daily podcast if you're looking to book me for a speaking engagement to help motivate some kids if you're looking to have me rock some of your clothing to help promote your brand Make sure you hit me up at booking at Again, that's booking at